What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. Katie and I just got back from uh, going back looking at that shop again. He said our unit would be ready in the middle of December So that's exciting. Hopefully we can actually settle in on that and make it happen Well today we got to go get welding gas I'm gonna take this cylinder throw it in uh, the banana ram over here And we're gonna get a new one so we can have welding gas Ooh, no, no. Light tailgate, but still doesn't have the uh, Easy drop. We may put one of them DZ tailgate assists on here. Super light, actually. Do we have a phone charger in here? I don't know. Oh. Try to put this inside the cab, but it's empty. All right, guys. So we got this actually last night. Full tank. She's topped off and ready to weld it's actually the next morning guys it is super early i just went to throw out a water bottle and i threw out my keys um that's how exhausted i am we got a lot of stuff to do today oh my gosh okay there we go but we're gonna be taking our tahoe we gotta film an advertisement for this we got three of them left actually this tahoe giveaway is coming to an end quick but i also haven't driven this thing in forever oh baby this is gonna be fun we are washing the Tahoe. Not <laughs> <Not> me. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. I guarantee that's why my car is working too. Why are you wrong? I was probably going the wrong way. guys I actually just out here getting some photos you'll see this on the website in just a second here is our new uh, aluminum water bottle if you guys want to pick one up this could be your ticket to the keys to the Tahoe so that would honestly be super sweet um, just got these in gonna throw them on the website which also kind of brings me to another point here welcome to our new build every time I get something new I just want to you know take one video and just sit there break it down uh, I want to talk to you guys, see your opinions, what you're thinking, what I'm thinking, and let's work out a deal here. So, obviously, I have two of the same trucks. Six-speed manual, 68 RFE. Only difference between these trucks, forget the interior-wise, they're both 2017 and 2018 Ram 2500s. Um, to be honest, I didn't really, it didn't really hit me that I owned two of the same exact vehicles. Until like this morning, I was like, Get, they're the same trucks. <laughs> so I don't know why I've done that or whatever, but th the color is just it. A lot of you love this is detonator yellow. So a lot of you ask me these paint codes, first of all, detonator yellow, and that is hills green. I don't think I have the keys to the OG Ram over here. Saw that in the comment section too. Somebody said call this the OG Ram and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't have the keys to this, but um, OG Ram is uh, 67 Lime over here. This paint coat is P06. I know a lot of you like painting your second gens and your old and your project uh, vehicles, certain paint codes. This is P06 Hills Green um, on our OG Ram here. On our new Ram, this is PYB, I believe. PYB, yes. Detonator yellow. I also believe this is the yellow they used on the chargers. And they also use this on uh, 2017 Ram 1500s too. And then I think a Jeep. I don't know what year is painted this shade of yellow too. There's a bunch of different paint codes. But yeah, regardless, PYB detonator yellow on a Ram 25. 
hundred and it looks so good it actually looks better in person than I ever thought I don't see any of these wild colors but on the internet and but in my dreams so seeing it in person just like our OG Ram over here absolutely absolutely incredible uh, literally literally everyone who comes up to me and finally sees this truck in person um, in public on the road in shows the green is so different in person than through this camera and that you could see on Instagram or anything. It's so beautiful. And the same thing with this yellow. You cannot, I know on camera it looks darn good, but you cannot fully grasp how good this paint looks behind the lens here. So as of right now, um, while daylight's here, I wanna talk to you guys about powder coating colors for this thing, and then we'll take it for a spin. Two of the options are honestly in the driveway already. Red and purple. The purple would look mad hot on this, let me tell you that. LA Lakers, some other things. Somebody did a um, Aston Martin a long time ago, and it was yellow and purple, and it looked really, really good. Red also looks good, as you can tell here. I'll just take this red powder coated, um, this almost is like Illusion Cherry uh, powder coated water bottle here, but look, that looks so good. Imagine that being on the spring there, um, big time. Yeah, that looks hot. So, same concept, Illusion Purple, Illusion Cherry. There's a couple other colors I have in mind. There's one I have in mind that I'm gonna keep secret, just in case I do actually come down and decide that one, because that might be number one right now. But a third option for this is just kind of like a purple, but also kind of like a blue. Would be sweet underneath there as well. When I think about it, you could probably do any color really under yellow. But those are like my top three right now. Um, still gotta decide and uh, may order some samples tonight. Now as dumb as this sounds, guys, I can't get <clears throat> I can't get enough <laughs> I can't get enough of a factory motor and exhaust system. Truly, coming from that Ram compound turbos and all to this, it's quiet, it's comfortable, and it's actually pretty darn neat that this is a diesel truck and it's this quiet. Even Katie's truck with the factory exhaust on it is really loud. It's so comfortable, so quiet. It actually is really nice. Now guys, the interior of this truck is super basic. Obviously it is a tradesman, so I'd like to upgrade it some way or another. Custom leather or leather of some sort would be super sweet in here. Um, and I think that might be the plan. I have one other plan in mind, um, but I don't know if that is even a possibility yet. Like I said in the last video guys, um, wait. <laughs> Within the next couple days, I'm gonna locate a Uconnect and I'm going to locate the seven inch digital dash. We're really gonna wake this entire tier. We're really, we are really going to wake. <laughs> we are really gonna wake this entire interior up with just those two modifications. It's not a cheap modification, but it'll immediately feel like you spent 20 extra thousand dollars on this truck for pennies of that cost. We already have um, a half a gallon of paint coming so we can color match all of this. The low volume com colors always come with this trim underneath um, that's black and not painted to the body. We don't know why that happens, um, but it does. So this is gonna be uh, color matched yellow. I don't know if I'm gonna order two new bumpers and then I know second gen people, I know a lot of people wanted these but I wanted to order two new bumpers that were just primered that I could paint over instead of dealing with sandblasting this and a whole bunch of other crap. So uh, I may just order new bumpers, have those coming, I want the fog light holes in there. I might just run factory fogs off of I don't know what and go from there. As for the grill, I have a sweet grill coming. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Don't You guys can just guess what it will be. Um, but I have it coming, and you guys are gonna love it, especially on this color yellow. It got me excited. The first thing I normally do on one of these trucks would honestly be come over, take every single chrome badge off, and swap it with black. 
But in this instance, I don't think that's gonna be the case here. For some odd reason, I'm really digging this yellow paint and the chrome. Don't worry, like I said, the chrome on the bumpers is going, but the slight chrome accents I enjoy. With that being said, I may have something special in store for when I color match the mirrors. Usually not my cup of tea, but we will see here. I'm gonna have to look and see and check other trucks and how they look, especially with this weird color and what I wanna do underneath. And depending on wheels, there's a lot to make decisions on. And this is honestly where you guys come in because I do like the subtle chrome accents, but should I obviously remove this chrome? I'll, I do dig these side steps, but probably remove that chrome. I don't really want to get rid of that chrome. And if I get rid of all this chrome, should I order sets of chrome handles? I, I know this is weird coming from me, but just see my vision here. We remove chrome accent, add just a few more, color match the rest. I think that is an amazing, amazing start to this build. And I think it's gonna give us a completely, well, unique look and different. Everyone says D-Badge, I absolutely love the badging. So the badging will never leave on any of my trucks as of right now. In the future, that may change, but as of right now, it stays. And speaking of suspension while we're at it, guys, I don't want, I definitely don't want to go too tall on this. The front half of this, there's a certain lift I want to run. May or may not be an air ride, but we don't want to go too tall with this truck. But frankly, the kit I want for the front kind of also matches pretty much. I, I It's so complex, I can't even like speak right now. So it, it's in my head. I've got it down. Um, I don't want to tell you guys all of the suspension plans for you not to get that angry. Uh, or happy or whatever just yet because it's not set in stone but right now I would love to put a special kind of lift on the front end of this and in that instance it wouldn't make much sense for me to do the same kind of lift in the rear of this truck because we don't need it to go any higher than that if I went full air ride on this it would only make sense for the height I want to go for me and economically to put it in the front and not the rear because we don't need to go that high in the rear after we lift the front. Like the front needs a whole chunk of lift and the rear doesn't need that much lift. So for me to put on a kit that's going to be that expensive for the front would not make sense to put it in the rear because we don't need like this much in the rear. So yeah. Some of you may be asking, am I going to give this truck away? I just got in here and we didn't even talk about what's under the hood. Now obviously. She's completely stock, except our air baffle has been removed. We live in a world now where doing what we really want to do to these motors is still achievable, difficult, but achievable, difficult, but achievable. Um, Motor-wise, I don't know. I do want to do all the same banks, boost tubing, intercooler, and possibly the air intake, depending on the other half of what I do with the motor or not. I do want to tune this truck, but in this kind of world, I am kind of very interested how much horsepower we can get this motor to without removing things from this truck if you're feeling me. Not saying I won't make a trip to Mexico sometime with this truck. Not saying that because I do and would like to go there especially after this recent week <laughs> in America. But um, <laughs> not saying I won't make a trip to Mexico in this thing. But who says while we have what we have, let's boost it up really put to the test and see if we can actually do something in the way some people think it should be. Tomorrow, she turns 22. We're at 21,997 miles on the banana. Another thing with that suspension, um, before it gets too dark here, it's going to take a little bit to get pretty much manufactured, made, and you know ship so that would put like a huge damper on what I want to do with this truck um, and how fat sure we got to do everything color matched but other than that the suspension and other things well I guess if we're keeping the rear decently the same take that apart powder coat it do all that put it back together 
and then when our new stuff comes we can put the front on it's already got the cab lights which is a plus we had to put them on um, our og ram here drill the holes and everything um, not too difficult and not hard honestly the bulbs i put in there are pretty cheap and they're starting to flicker I'm gonna switch those out to white here soon also needs new wipers all the rubber flew off them but that's besides the point so yeah guys banana ram is in full force um another option to that front kit is just a basic lift for that um that would be here fast it'd be here soon um it won't be extensive and crazy it'll just be like a simple um you know a simple little lift you know get us in the air and clear the wheels and tires i want to um also i a lot of people were saying tow pig i would love to get a gooseneck i just can't find one for sale if anyone's got one for sale um dm me on instagram or something i'll check it out but I i'm looking for a gooseneck because we have the uh gooseneck hitch in here gooseneck and fifth wheel just like our og ram does too but i'm um, gonna need a custom trailer for that and pretty much any gooseneck will do for here i'd love to haul a gooseneck with this uh i just just simply need just simply need to find one that's that's all it really is that 68 rfe trans like i said in that last video does have a lot to do with this truck and what we need to do we're gonna do and everything to it the g56 you can get away with slapping big tires on it in a tune and not re-gearing the 68s you really can't um you tune them you put big tires on them chances are the trans would be bye bye um, if we do decide to take a trip to Mexico, um, it, it will get a full, a full built trans. That's for sure. If we did take a trip to Mexico, um, we'll get a full built trans and, um, all the other goodies to it. I, like I said, I just don't know. I just don't know yet. I, I just didn't know with this truck either. Um, that, that's what's hilarious. I truthfully, it took me. It's even till today to get this truck and decide to get this truck to where it is. Um, honestly, it did. It's taking me. It's taken me forever to just settle down and pick something to go with this truck. Ooh, I, thought I got bit my mosquito. But I'm a flare guy. I may add them to this truck. I think it looks super clean. We'll probably slap those on. It'll change the whole look just in that. That's for sure. I know it did with this truck. So, like I said, a lot to think about and a lot to settle in on. I would like to do that suspension in the front, but you know what? If the lead time is like three months, I mean, I could wait that long, but I also don't think I could wait that long. So we'll have to see. Um, things to look into and things to um, figure out here. However, I'm gonna order some things after this video, like the grill, the bumpers, uh, the paint's already coming, that should be here. And depending on one other thing, kind of depends on that interior as well. So <laughs> we're gonna get to wrenching real soon, guys, on the banana. It's just, it's just, I'm finalizing a couple things, getting a few things in order, and uh, kind of picking the route I wanna go with this. Let me know what you guys wanna see on the banana ram, wheels-wise, tires-wise. Uh, lift wise accessories wise stuff like that let me know because that opens up my mind to a lot of things i wouldn't have thought of or wouldn't have thought of look good on there but you guys brought it up and i really think about it and be like darn that would look good um and just overall things like that so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you're excited for this build if you did shoot this video a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe take care and i'll see you guys in the next video.